What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to find a buyer for a deal that you have. Right now I just got a lead for an apartment complex in Colorado. This isn't a small town. I don't have any buyers in this area. And what I usually tell you guys is to have buyers first. But sometimes you get deals that are in areas where you know you don't have a buyer so you gotta go find one and that's where you can wholesale that way what I would do in this situation what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna go look on batch leads for buyers that have purchased properties for cash or who have just bought apartment complexes in that area of Colorado where I have this lead in the last 12 months and I'm gonna reach out to them and ask them if they're looking to buy any more and if they are looking to buy any more I'm gonna give them the information after I vet them I'm gonna give them the information about this deal but before I give them that information about the deal I'm gonna run some comps. I actually saw some comps that uh, one of my business partners that sent me this lead, he ran. So it looks like the apartment complex that they have is not performing very well. The rents are very low and they can be increased. So what I'm going to do right now live for you guys to watch is I'm going to call the owner of the apartment complex. It's in a trust. I'm going to ask them if they're open to terms. I'm going to ask them if they're open to cash. I'm going to ask them, you know, what, what options they've explored to sell this property, see what we can figure out. And, uh, you know, I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Hi, this is Philip. Hey, Philip, how you doing? This is uh, Nathan. I think you just got done talking to David the other day about your apartment complex. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have a couple minutes to chat or did I catch you at a bad time? Sure, I have a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah, so um, David was able to kind of send me the, the numbers about the uh, apartment complex that you have. And I, I work in the Colorado area, specifically like in Denver and Pueblo and like kind of the bigger areas. This uh, property is, um, we've actually never done a deal in this area. It's Salida. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, it's pronounced Salida. Salida. Okay. I was kind of calling just to get a little bit more information. I know he gave, a, gave me a lot of info on his Excel spreadsheet that he sent me, but I was kind of curious of what, um, what's the game plan for, for you, uh, you and your family going forward. Are you looking to, um, sell this like for cash to an investor like us and just get it done quickly? Are you open to listing it and just waiting and trying to get like the top dollar? Um, just kind of curious what, what your goal is. Uh, no, we're not interested in listing it. Um, you know, if, if you're an investor and you're looking for an investment property in a right. up and coming Colorado mountain town, mm -hmm. then it's a good fit. And if right. you're not, it's not a good fit. So, uh, looking, looking for a cash, uh, cash offer. Are you open? Just curious, like right off the bat, I'm just curious. Are you open to selling it on terms if we're able to pay a little bit more than what we'd be able to offer on our cash price? Sure. Okay. Are, do you own it free and clear or is there a, a existing, you know, there's no mortgage on it. There's no mortgage on it. Okay. Um, have you, if you were to sell it on terms and we were able to negotiate something, do you have a certain amount of money that, um, or interest that you'd want on the property, like, uh, for it to make sense or be worth it to you? You know, my money market's paying close to five. Okay. So, so 5% interest rate and um, do you have a certain amount of money down? I mean, for us, we love to get into these for no money down, but you know, that's not always the case. You know, if we could do, I don't know, 10 or 15% down would be, it would make it worth our while. Okay. Yeah, totally get it. Yeah, that's why I ask up front just because, you know, sometimes the cash offers come in a lot lower. So we like to have other options available. Uh, so we're thinking around 5% and, um, you know, 10 to 15% down and how do you know how long you'd feel comfortable holding that would you be able to do it for like the 30 years or, or uh you know less we probably don't want to look further out than 10. okay all right so what i can do is i can kind of come up with an offer that would make sense with those uh, as i crunch the numbers um do you have a an asking price if you were to get you know cash versus like uh, if you were to finance us and, and sell to us on terms i don't okay you know, the, the, there are three people that, that are the beneficiaries of this. It's currently in a, in, a, in a trust. Right, right. So you'd have to, I'm assuming, you have to get everyone to agree on, you know, the offer that you guys all accept, right? We don't need signatures from all of them, uh -huh. but it would be nice to have their buying in. So, okay. Yeah. And I think David was telling me that, uh, you know, three three months to a year is when you'd like to sell this. So it's not like... 
from what I understand, it's not like it needs to get done this month. No, it doesn't need to get done this month. But I, I mean, if we're going to do something, if you and I are going to keep talking about this, right? Um, I, I don't want to string it along. Cause... Yeah, just... <laughs> of course. No, I totally get that. Um, and are are all the uh, I think all of them are occupied, correct? All the units. Correct, but they're all on month to month. So uh, no. on the other hand, you know that makes it easy. The, the thing about this building is it's one of the most affordable <laughs> I did. in town. It's really under market. Yeah, no, I can definitely see that. You're at six. It looks like six twenty. No, seven hundred is the highest um, one you got that you're running the building out for or one of the units right okay and you know if you have an investor who wants to do a project mm -hmm. I mean, the town is coming up yeah so we might be interested in doing something along those lines yeah that's what we usually like to do is we like to go in and update each unit one by one instead of like kicking everyone out and then raise the rents that would be kind of one of the goals there but Yes, if you were able to hold the note, that would save us a lot of money. Do you, by chance, know what the rents? Uh, I, I see they're like ranging between five hundred and seven hundred on this. Do you know what we could raise it to? Um, sounds like you understand the area pretty well. Oh, if you look around town, you'll mm -hmm. see that you know two bedroom condos four blocks away are going for a million apiece. Right. Uh, I mean, hotel rooms are tight, mm -hmm. so if you if you look at those as as sort of comparable rents. Um, those are between, depending upon the season, um, between 115 and 200 a night. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, <laughs> it's, I, it's, it's, it's a resort town. Yeah, anymore. right. Okay. Um, this week if you've never been you should go yeah yeah i've never been i i live in salt lake city utah and i've been out to denver a couple times but uh yeah i didn't never been out here sounds sounds nice the way you're talking about it. maybe i need to head out <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a park city without as much quite as much green not as much hollywood not yeah. as much <laughs> no i understand that no sundance there not yet not yet okay well, that's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I talked to you about it because it, it does sound, sounds really like a nice area. Um, well, yeah, I guess all I need to really do is, is do my research a little bit more. I just wanted to kind of ask if the terms, if you're open to terms and if you had a price in mind, so I didn't come at you with uh, <laughs> some lowball offer that just, I'm not here to offend anybody, so I didn't want to, you know, do my numbers and make an offer that was not even something you'd be open to. You, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, you know, the assessor has one price. Uh, if you look at the cash flow, that's another price. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to, you're gonna have to come up with a proposal. A, a proposal. Yeah. And, and listen, it, nothing's crazy. Yeah. No, I totally get it. Okay. Well, I can do that. Is there anything else that uh, you, you'd like to let me know or I should know before I, you know, run the numbers and come back with an offer? Nope. I, I can't think of anything. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. And just to kind of be transparent on the strategy that we use this, because we don't live in Salida, we'd probably uh, bring in one of our partners that lives in Denver to do the rehab and go in on the deal with us. So uh, we'd probably have to like coordinate a walkthrough with them. And, you know, once, once we get a little further down the line, but I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. Like, a, you know, getting a walkthrough set up and all that. Nope. Okay. No, I, I have a manager on site. Okay, well, Philip, I appreciate your time, and you have a good day, and we'll be in touch. Thanks, Nathan. Yep, bye. So they weren't really giving me that much information when it came to what their asking price was, which makes it kind of difficult because if they give you a baseline, you know at least like they're in the ballpark or ballpark range. And usually if this was a single family home, I would just throw out a number, but this is a, an apartment complex. So we're going to have to um, kind of see what buyers are buying in this area because I'm not going to buy this property. I don't have no desire to own a property in Salida or whatever the guy was saying. What I'm going to do, look for buyers, see what they would pay for it and, uh, you know, take their offer and offer a little bit less to have my wholesale fee in there and if it works we got a deal we just need to uh you know get it under contract they are open to terms which is really good he said 10 to 15 percent down at five percent market which is great because you know usually it's a lot more than that right now with the interest rates so if you didn't understand a lot of that no worries about that you'll you'll get it over time but just know when you get a property even in a town i've never heard of 
what you do is you ask them what they want to sell it for you get that information and then once you see that they're open to cash and they're open to working with you and they're some somewhat there's some motivation you find out what buyers are paying you call and make the offer. If he doesn't accept, then you know no worries. This process shouldn't take you more than an hour to do. And if it gets done, this is a potential. Well, apartment complex deals can be you know anywhere from thirty thousand, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, depends what price you get it at. That's the beauty of wholesaling. So I hope that helped you out. Check it out. Always check out our channel. We're always coming up with better, new, and improved content. So talk to you later.